Chris Beck details his transformation to become Kristen Beck. In some ways, this is way more mentally and physically rigorous than many things I've done in my past. Hi there, this is Lucas Silvera, and I am here with the amazing Kristen Beck. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I have a million questions for you, so I'm going to try to keep this simple. And we were talking a little bit off camera, but I think I might have to revisit some of that stuff. You're here with the Human Rights Watch Film Festival and with your movie Lady Valor, which is has been on, in many f film festivals, as you told me. And I watched it myself on Netflix, so people can watch it on there. Now, this movie is about your transition uh, from becoming a U.S. Navy SEAL for 20 years. Um, you have medals, you have a Purple Heart, and now you're living as a woman. What was the tipping point that made you realize that you needed to come out and live your life like this? Well, for me, there really was no actual tipping point, it was, and I don't really like that term, because we all, everything's gradual, everything just happens, mm -hmm. and being transgender, for me, I've known this since grade school, and transgender people, there is no tipping point for us as a community, because this has been going on for thousands of years. So how can you say at one point in history, this is the tipping point? Because then you're, you're disregarding all of the people before. And I don't want to say that being transgender in the LGBT community, we have thousands of people that are making this happen for all of us. We're making a better future, not by one or two people, or not by a few people, speaking for all of us. It's all of us speaking for all of us. I mean, name one human being just in, in the straight world, if we want to call it that, name one person that represents everyone else. You can't do that. There's true. thousands of people that represent all of us. And then we all come together as a community. We're all different colors. We're all different shades of gray. We're all different. And all of us together make a beautiful thing. So for me, it just became part of my life that I had to do this. And then I came out and I said, this is who I am. And I started living that life. It's not a true life. It's not a truth. It's not a tipping point. It's not anything. Everything I did before is still who I am today. I am Christopher, I'm a Navy SEAL, I'm that bearded dude, and I'm who I am right now. I'm all of it. Do you feel that the military, like, in some way attracts trans women um, of a certain sort of generation because they d d do feel like they need to go there and sort of like man up kind of thing? Do you think that that's something that exists? So my personal opinion is transgender people, trans women and trans men, are gravitate to the military because it's a good place to hide. It's a good place to build your mm -hmm. armor. It's a good place to protect yourself. And maybe even we think that we can cure ourselves, cure ourselves because we don't know. So trans men would go into the military. It's a place that you can put on the same uniform as all the guys. You can fix trucks and you can shoot guns mm -hmm. and be a, a super tomboy and be a trans man kind of in hiding and you get medals for it and you get patted on the back for it. So that's a great place for trans men to go. And for trans women, we can go there and we can kind of hide out, we can protect ourselves. We can kind of put a shell on and be that masculine male person that we think that we're supposed to be. And so I think that a lot of us gravitate to the military for those two reasons. So do you find that when you came out in, in your community, of the, the Navy SEAL community, what was you know, the reaction to, to you as a majority? And were you surprised by people's reactions, whether be negative or positive? So I came out to the SEAL team community. I was surprised by the reactions. I was surprised by the negative reactions and some of the positive reactions. I had very close friends that just totally shut me off. You know, very close SEAL team friends. And I was very surprised by that because they knew who I am. They knew who I was as far as like honor, integrity, the SEAL team, long live the brotherhood, and all that stuff. As soon as I did that, they were like, whoa. You know, and they, they stopped. And I was like really surprised by that. It hurts. I was surprised by some of the folks that came around and they said, I can accept it. So on, on all ends of the spectrum. The thing is, is that they start really seeing what I'm fighting for, that I am fighting for equality. As a SEAL, you're fighting for freedom. You're fighting for those people that can't fight for themselves. Life, liberty, and happiness, the American way. That's what we do as SEALs. Now, if this is what makes me free, if this is what gives me that liberty and that happiness, isn't that the same thing we fought for in the SEAL teams? That's beautiful. Do you feel that you have some sometimes unpopular uh, views or unpopular ways of being within the trans community yourself? Yes. I get more like abuse or more like people being like, and they're more pointed within the transgender community against me because I do speak about my past. I'm proud of who I was. The thing is, is that most of those transgender people who have like one single goal, their goal is to go stealth. Their goal is only that top to be a fashion model and to look like the perfect woman. Now you tell me, what is the perfect woman? What is the perfect man? 
Now, if your only goal as a transgender person is to be that beautiful model-like or actress-like person that's on the cover of a magazine, that's your only goal, how many people can do that? And if that's everybody's goal and so many people can't do that, what are you telling all those other people? Are they failures? No, I'm not a failure because I can't be a fashion model. I'm not a failure because my goal is not to go stealth. My goal is not to be that beautiful woman down the street that nobody knows. My goal is to be a human being. My goal is to be Kristen Beck. And it might not be your goal. If my goal isn't your goal, does that make me inferior? Does that make me a failure? Amongst a lot of people in the transgender community, they do think that. Mm -hmm. They think that I'm failing the rest of the transgender community because I feel the way I do. I don't want to be a fashion model on a, on a cover of a magazine. I don't want to be a Barbie doll. I don't need surgeries and, and all the other stuff to make me whole. Hmm. That's not a big deal. So. It's amazing that you're, you know, one would think sometimes in, in a situation that happens like this that, and it happens a lot, like you said, a lot of people want to go stealth and they want to forget their past and they think that it's really painful and they just w sort of want to leave it behind and move ahead and not talk about it. Yeah. But I feel in what you've done, there is such a connection with what you learned being a Navy SEAL is you're bringing it with you and you're stating that you're, this is what creates your, your freedom and this is what you fought for your entire career was to be this, was to be who you are. And that to me is, it's unbelievable, it's beautiful, you know? So think about history and think about if their entire goal for all transgender people is just to go stealth. So how many thousands of years have transgender people existed? Four thousands of years mm -hmm. and no one knows they're even there. So yourself, you could just go on, go about your business and totally pass. No one would ever know that. Yeah. Now until we come to the point when we start having some people standing up and saying, this is who I am, I used to be this and now I'm this, and I'm proud of the fact that I can live as a full human being and, and go from being male to female, and it's okay. There's a lot of us that can't pass. Yeah. And so what, all those people need to live in the shadows? We're reduced to the fact that we have to hide and never be in the public? That's what you're saying. So until some people stand up and start saying, hey, there are, we do exist, we are here, we are living, then people start seeing it, and they go, oh, wow. And we also say, oh, by the way, we have been here for thousands of years, you guys just never knew it. Because we either were passing perfectly stealth, or we were hiding in the shadows. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't want to hide in the shadows. I don't think that we should hide in the shadows as human beings, for any reason, because we're all different, I and we're all beautiful. I fought for 20 years for life, liberty, in a pursuit of happiness, and I want some happiness. This is my life. <laughs>